15th, venues can start once again hosting weddings with COVID guidelines in place, of course. From the number of guests to testing to the biggest one many are wondering about is how is dancing going to work? Daybreak's Karis Belger joins us live with those updates. Good morning, Karis. Now, good morning, Pete and Melissa. Some of the restrictions are things we are already familiar with, like the limited capacity for venues, but some of the other restrictions for weddings and events will change the way weddings we've come as we've come to know them will typically look. Just to give you a quick rundown of some of the changes that are going to be in place under the new restrictions, uh, events can go until midnight, although nothing can take place between 12 and 5 a.m. Guests have to have proof of a negative test 72 hours before the event or a negative rapid test test six hours beforehand. This does not apply to guests who have gotten the vaccine. Masks have to be worn at all times unless you're sitting, eating or drinking at your assigned table. Dancing must be socially distanced and only with individuals from the same household or immediate family. I should also mention that some guests who have been pre approved and pre screened may take part in some ceremonial dances. Things we're used to like a father daughter dance or the first dance between the married couple, but there are also a number of other restrictions. I couldn't list here. Those are on our website, WGRZ.com. Reporting in Buffalo, I'm Kara Spelger, sending it back to you, Pete and Melissa.